30 will enter, only one will walk away as the number one contender for the WWE title or Universal Champion. Of course, these two, they won't be in it, but we had to throw them in. This pay-per-view right here, that's what it consists of. All the best. Both brands coming together, an over-the-top Royal Rumble match. John Cena, the only dual-branded superstar. Well, him, and I'm sure Undertaker still fits under that category, but John Cena, he has been on both, man, the workhorse. He might have been a part-timer, but he's been working like a full-time, straight-up G. <laughs> it looks like Jinder Mahal, he's getting that AA. Hey, that's a lot better, man, than that new finisher he's got. Man, I still, I still cannot get my mind wrapped around that punch, that backhanded punch. Rey Mysterio and Andrade, these two have been killing it on SmackDown over there. The matches, oh geez, you know they're gonna have a good spot right here at the Royal Rumble. But Mysterio, dude, I think it's time, bro. You step it up a little bit. I think that greatest Royal Rumble, you didn't have that great outcome or that debut. Well, you know what? We'll find out here. The Rock, the People's Champ, Mr. Hollywood. I know he don't like that name, but a lot of rumors, dude. He is supposed to step back into this Rumble and the Big Show. He's about to find out. What the rock bottom can still do. I don't know if he'll be able to do the people's elbow. Obviously, the ring, the ring would have to be cleared out a little bit. But you know, the man, the Brahma Bull, he's going to bring that energy. That electricity that the dead man always brings. Look, Shawn Michaels, Triple H, I think they're pretty much done. Not Triple H. I'm sure once he gets healthy, he'll get his match at WrestleMania. But the Undertaker, dude, that brand new hip, he is showing the glorious ones what that hip can still do. Sami Zayn, he is given, it looks like the, the Andre the Giant Memorial Champion. The one that won that battle royale. Yeah, Sami, he's been training, dude. He has been spotted at the Performance Center. He says, come on, man, give me a break. I won that battle royale. You know, I'm sure you'll be eliminated pretty quick. I haven't really seen much of Mojo. Come on, Mojo Raleigh, you got to step it up a little bit. Lars Sullivan, he is being welcomed with open hands by AOP. He's going to know here soon enough what the main roster is all about. He might have destroyed everyone over there in NXT, but these two, man, oh, I'm pretty hyped. Still no, conf there's no confirmation. Well, you know what? There might be. I kind of want to see more on SmackDown. I think if the man is going to succeed, it's going to be more on SmackDown. There's way too many big dudes over there on Raw for him to stand out. What is going on over here? Are you serious? Come on, dude. I thought this was supposed to be since day one-ish. The Usos. Well, that's the thing you got to know, man, about this Royal Rumble match. It don't matter if you've been longtime brother, sister. You will do anything to capture that win and get your title up opportunity. Dolph Ziggler, he wants to get back into that title picture. He wants a match for that ice. I'm sure it's going to happen. You know it has to happen. I kind of want to see Rollins and Dean Ambrose walk away from that and step up to something a little bit bigger. <coughs> Universal title. Come on. Over here. Yeah, Bobby Lashley. Sure, dude. I'll give you a shot. Let's let's do it. Why not? And right now, I'm, there's no official. At least by the time of the filming of this video, there's no official match for that IC title. But Dolph Ziggler, yeah, why not? Let's throw him back into that picture. EC3, Ethan Carter, the third. He, he looks like he came straight after that undefeated streak. That undefeated streak that nobody wants. <laughs> Curtis Hawkins, he has been thrown not only over the top rope, but it looks like he has landed on the WHF announcer table. By golly, please, you gotta make sure he gets at least one win. Jeff Hardy, the charismatic enigma, he is coming at Joe with everything that he's got. He's trying to eliminate him over the top turnbuckle. The animal. Batista, he is giving Drew McIntyre a little taste of what it's soon to be. Will he be a champion? If he does come back, man, I hope he gets some kind of title shot in the near future. That was one of the main reasons he ended up leaving. Randy Orton, he says, welcome back, Kane. Welcome back with an RKO out of nowhere. Now, these two right here, this match, man. Oh, I can't wait to give you guys my predictions. This is the one match. You know, at first, initially, Braun Strowman, he's all the way back. We'll talk about you in just a sec. Wasn't all that excited, man. They never really did much to build up the hype. But just this one week alone, dude, the build up and anticipation for this Universal title match, cannot tell you. It looks like Beast, Brock Lesnar, the Beastie, the 
what is it? Beast incarnate. <laughs> Whatever you want to call this guy, he is going to bring that animal. But demon, he's got a little surprise, dude. Finn Balor, you know he's going to bring that demon. He's going to bring everything that he's got. I hope you do. If you plan on winning this, that's what you're going to need to do. Kurt Angle. He's got Elias in the ankle lock. He is tapping. He says, get me out of here, man. You might as well just throw me out of the ring. He's like, not quite yet, bro. I got to make sure I make you tap. <laughs> you can't win like that, Kurt. You got to throw him over the top turnbuckle. Seth Rollins. It looks like, come on, dude. We got to end this. I feel like this, this match right here or this feud between these two, it's just been going on for far too long. But Rollins... Who will get the upper hand in this 30-man? Will they be in it? We'll find out soon enough. I'm sure we'll find out. Come raw a little bit more detail. Now, over here, looks like Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles, they keep going at it, man. These two, no matter if it's backstage, inside the ring, outside, they're going to bring it all over the arena to find out to who will he retain or will we crown a new WWE champion and Nakamura he says give me back that title he's clocking Rusev no more Rusev day he says this is over man I need my championship title back over here we have the 30 yes and I said that right the 30th entry in the Raw well, not only uh, for the men's, but also the women's. He's like, before we do, man, we got to teach this Lucha, Lucha. We got to teach the Lucha house party how to throw it down properly. It looks like another one that has been spotted at the performance center. The fashion police, they have come back and they're like, it looks like Bray Wyatt. He's going to be the first victim in the fashion police. Is it ticket book? Yeah, the ticket book. <laughs> He's already getting a ticket. He's like, why, dude? Why did I do to deserve a ticket? He says, it's that hairstyle, man. You got to cut it. Don't do it, Bray. Please don't do it. Asuka and the man, they want to make sure that they leave it all in the ring. No, not in the ring. All over the arena. They want to bring that show to you. And I hope that this one delivers, man. These two, one-on-one, -on -one, I want to see that. Last match was pretty good, but I think individually these two will put on a great show. Now the New Day, it looks like Kofi and Xavier, no, not Kofi, Xavier Woods and Biggie have been eliminated, but Kofi's still in it. He is, is he hand walking? He is. He is hand walking all the way back to the ring. Man, that guy's a true stunt devil. This guy always amazes me at the Royal Rumble. Coming back around here, the boss, Sasha Banks, she's coming up to Ronda. She's like, there is no way that I trained my entire life to come in second place. Ronda's like, you better check yourself, man. You're about to be. <laughs> Oh, geez, what's going to happen with that? I don't want to see the boss lose, but I sure as heck don't want to see the hot rod. Rowdy, Ronda, Rousey lose that title. I've actually really enjoyed this title run for her, man. She's just delivered not just to the WWE Universe, but to all those doubters. Shane O'Mac and The Miz, they are telling the bar, you guys might be the bar, but we're setting a new bar. And Cesaro's like, you serious, man? <laughs> We're going to find out, dude. What is what? Come on, Titus. What are you doing? Why are you sleeping during the 30-man Royal Rumble? You ought to be giving your... Oh, wait, he did. He came running down the entrance ramp, and he botched it again. <laughs> he slid right underneath the ring. It looks like Sheldon Benjamin. He is coming into the ring. It looks like his number has been called, and he is coming in to help, to give a helping hand to his all old tag team partner, Chad Gable. He says, hold up, bro. I got some history with the dead man. I'll give him a little taste of what I can still do. What Watch out, you guys. The bar, they need to turn around. Another big talk as to some guys that have been spotted over at the WWE Performance Center is the Bludgeon Brothers. Believe it or not, we will see him. Well, we will see these two a lot sooner than later. They are getting ready to step back into that SmackDown ring or maybe Raw. We'll find out. They're always trying to change it up, so I'm getting pretty stoked for their return. Constable, he is having a hoot over here. But what's so funny, dude? Seriously, I mean, you're about to get into this 30-man over-the-top Royal Rumble match. I honestly can't think of anything that's funny. Oh, that's right. He is laughing at Braun Strowman for losing his universal title opportunity. Braun's like, get over here. 
I'm going to show you what's funny. I'm going to come right at you and show you what the Monster Among Men would have done in that Universal title match. This is the setup, you guys. This was a lot of fun to put together. Pretty stoked to see some of these potential returns, debuts. That's the one thing about this pay-per-view, man. The, the, the last thing that you could possibly expect usually does. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Before I let you guys go, let me know which match. Is it the 30 man that you're most hyped for? Is it the universal title? The WWE? We've seen this quite a bit, but these guys always deliver. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.